Uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're kicking off episode 3 of the single player survival. So I got a few things I gotta show you guys that I just kinda changed up off camera and then we'll go from there. So in the last episode, you guys know I found myself some melon seeds, so that's actually the first melon to ever grow in this world. Thank you. And this didn't work. <laughs> This, you guys are probably screaming at me like, it's not going to work, but it didn't work. So, I changed it up a bit and we're going to test the new design right now. I changed it up to be this design. Now, I don't know if this has been done or not, but all I'm doing is using the lore mechanic. So now, adult cows can't get underneath that, but we can walk on the fence. And we can walk through and breed all of these cows. See me falling in here. Major disadvantage, but we can do that. I haven't figured out how I'm getting out of here yet. And then the baby cows, we just use the wheat and the baby cows come over here and we got to put trapdoors there because we want those baby cows to come running right toward us and fall down that hole. So if we throw down just some basic trapdoors, is that our, no, it's what dirt. What's it? Recipe for trapdoors? Okay, it's it's more than. Gotcha. Ah! One, two, three, four, five. Why not? We can get more wood. And then trapdoors are these right there. Okay, so now we only had one pumpkin or one melon stalk that actually grew up. See how they're down there? Beautiful. So now if we go like this. Any baby cow that exists within here just gets pulled and pushed down here and then down here is where they grow up and we, we harvest our beautiful goodness. But that's not actually, that that's the only update that I had to make was I just threw together this quick little cow farm. Uh, one thing I want to do actually is I want to make this more of a stock so we get more cows, so that's okay, but we got a couple down there to go with. But what I want to do in the beginning of this episode, I don't know if it's going to be the whole episode, is I want to go check out that village because I feel like me playing just uh, solo mode right now, like without recording, I, I could be doing a lot with that village. So I do want to go check it out with you guys on camera. So where do we want to go? I can't fully remember where it is it's over this way right i think i'm right because of that ravine i think that ravine should be my telltale sign there should be no am i wrong i think i might be wrong okay then it's if it's not that way then it's this way there is a spruce a spruce forest uh which has the okay we should probably sleep before we head over there that would probably be the most optimal um move to do so what i'll do is i'll i'll figure out where it is because <laughs> apparently i'm i'm a dummy head and once i figure out where it is i'll come back to your faces and then i will you know be heading towards said village so give me a second Okay, so I found it. <laughs> Turns out I just had to follow that tree line a little bit, and I, I've been killing cows. So I threw the data packs in that NSG has, and for whatever reason, these data packs, somewhere in their code, something's broken, and now I'm getting cooked meat again. So I'm not going to complain. I, if this becomes an issue, I'll turn it off. But right now, like, I'm cool. I'm cool with this. But there is definitely a village right here. Now, we do have a couple of primary goals for this little adventure into the village. Uh, we need to protect two villagers. Two villagers need to end up in a house and they need to end up safe because I want them. I want them to breed. I want them to have. So, with luck, uh oh. I'm going to go on a limb. This looks like one of those abandoned ones. <gasps> no, it's not. No, it's not. Iron golems are so ugly in this. Oh my god, you're ugly. Okay, dude. Okay, dudes. Where's the bell? Where's the center bell? I need y'all to go into a house. Where's the Where's the bell? There it is. Everyone to houses. If I could preferably get two of you in a house, I don't really care which house. Yep. Anyone else in there? So this is fancy. Uh, to deter spawning. Hey, dude. 
Did I say you could leave? Do I need to ring the bell again? You shut the door in my face. That was rude. Get back in the house. Everyone in houses. You? Going in a house? Where are you going? Okay, well, you two clearly got yourself stuck. And you guys can't get out of that. So. Smooth. Smooth. Actually, I think they're pretty safe, actually. Anyone in here? No, but there's loot. Okay, I'll come back for that. Uh, I came here with a full inventory. Guys, I need someone in a house. I mean, you guys are dumb. And you guys got yourself stuck here. So this is good enough. Is this a berry bush? I'm not gonna let you kill yourself. There. So we got him locked in there. We got two at least. If we can push this guy. No, we're not. It's not gonna happen. Okay. So we got two at a minimum. Is there anyone in this? Okay. This is actually a very valuable house as well, but we're not gonna we're not gonna loot quite yet. I wanna get rid of some of my stuff. So I wanna get rid of that, I wanna get rid of that, I wanna get rid of that, 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 that. I think that's good. Okay, now let's loot. <laughs> I don't think there was a chest in here. And this should be usable, but it's not. I think you gotta put a book in it. But what else we got? Ow! Oh yeah, I forgot those hurt you. Hey guys. Nothing in here. What about in here? Nothing but a, a grindstone. Oh, you're trapped. I don't really care. I want your loot. Don't try trading with me. Bust a hole in your wall. Oh, baby. Potatoes and pumpkin seeds. All fantastic. I'm not too concerned about the berries. But, potatoes and pumpkin seeds. I kind of got what I wanted out of this. I don't really need anything else out of this village. I'll take whatever I can get, but I don't think I need all that. An emerald? Since when were those in here? And some leather. So we'll throw on the, the leather armor. And then we'll check out this tower. But other than that, I'm going to go on a limb. And I'm going to say that we got everything we need out of this. Okay, this has nothing. Unless there's something up here, which there's not. Okay, so I got what I needed. I'm happy. I don't need to steal your flower. And, okay, I'm happy. Cool. So we got a couple villagers safe. And we got what we needed. So now, did I see, I got, I got, I would have liked carrots. But I didn't see any farm. Here we go. Carrot, 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 carrot. Uh, that's melon. Wheat, potato, wheat. This all looks like wheat and potato. That's all it is, is wheat and potato. And we'll grab a couple of these bad boys because I want them. All right, so I'm going to head back to the base. And then I'm going to start work on the next project that we have planned for today. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to end off this episode here. I just want to show you guys kind of what I did off camera because I did a little bit of work of just getting kind of the foundation laid and I didn't want to make too much more progress uh, because I'm making a little bit quicker progress than I, I want to in this series and I want to document all the progress we make. So uh, this cow farm works great, by the way, especially because it melts, melts it for us or smelts it for us. So that's awesome. I've, I can't be happier with that. How much did we get from that? A good amount. And then all we do is run over to our farm. But uh, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I, lay, I just put in a chest room. And nothing too extreme design-wise. This resource pack makes everything look extreme, though. <laughs> I love this resource pack so far. But nothing too, too extreme of just 
random stuff. And I did it this way just to, you know, just to get a little bit of organization away from that. Now there is a couple other things that I can show you guys with that I did. All you gotta do is close this fence, jump over here, feed up these cows, and then you gotta be careful when you walk on the fence because they tend to like to pull you in. And then all we do is jump over here. And then if we walk back and forth, the baby cows think they can get to us and they progressively walk toward us. And just like that, more cows. Now we just wait for them to grow up and I need you, my friend. Don't teleport away. Where'd he go? He's over there. I thought I had him there. Dang it. So another thing that I did off camera was I started to lay out the structure. Now, if you guys don't know, there's a YouTuber out there called Monkey Farm, and I'm a huge fan of Monkey Farm. And since we're using this resource pack, which is Monkey Farm's favorite resource pack, John Smith, I thought we'd go for, I'm not going to say a Monkey Farm style base, but something that Monkey Farm did in his first world is he did a circle and then a circle within the circle. Now, he had a bunch of cool stuff, mob spawner in the middle. It was a really, really cool world. And I'm taking a lot of inspiration from that, I'm not going to lie. And this is going to be way different, don't worry. This is going to be way different. But I wanted you guys to know where my inspiration for the circle within a circle came from. And why, like, I'm going to do a glass wall because it just keeps all the baddies out and makes it easy. Um, but another thing that I'm also starting up on, which is what we'll be working on in the next episode, 100% for sure, is down here somewhere, right here. Uh, down here, I just threw it away, away from the circle, because I wanted it away from the circle. But down here, now this could be bad, but I'm doing, that is your drown spawn? I'm doing a mob farm. Baddies? No baddies. Okay, cool. I'm doing a mob farm down here, and I'm just doing a simple one. Right now it's eight blocks, and then we're going to do three blocks and do a drop like that. And then another another eight blocks that way. And then it's just going to be a platform, and it pushes them off of the platform and into a little collecting area. And hopefully we can get ourselves a little bit of a chest room set up, because I haven't been able to find a spawner yet, and it kind of concerns me that... We're at this point in the series and we don't have any type of XP. So I want to get that dug out and I want to get us some type of XP, uh, just something to tie us over. <laughs> so hopefully, I don't know how well this farm is going to work. There, uh, I got to do a lot more caving in the area to make it work 110%. But other than that, I think this will be okay just for a starting farm just for a starting farm so uh without further ado ladies and gentlemen that's actually going to do it for this episode of the single player series we're on episode three and making it to episode three of something especially with me doing single player is absolutely insane uh don't worry i haven't forgot about the other series is is, is. i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with the never stop gaming survival server like what i want to do content wise on there and i have a bunch of the uh sky factory the sky crafter server recorded i just haven't had time to edit it and upload it especially with me focusing on these two as my main series is you guys seem to be really enjoying them the views have been awesome and the feedback has been awesome so i'm, I'm not gonna just kind of throw a a curveball for five six seven what one two three four five six seven eight is where the water comes out of there we go <laughs> Now I know what I'm doing. I'm not just going to throw a random curveball in there, something you guys don't want to watch. So, yeah, don't worry about that. If you are a fan of those two series, is, 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 they will be coming. They will be here on the channel. Have no fear. Now, if you guys are still watching, one thing you guys might be interested in is would you guys like to see well no never mind i'm not going to bring that i was going to say about a hardcore world you can still leave a comment if it's something you would uh be interested in but 
The reason I kind of want to stray away from a hardcore world is because it's a different type of Minecraft and it's a different type of gameplay. Right now we have two survival multiplayer, or not survival multiplayers, we have two survival uh, series is going with the single player which is something that I think will be a consistent thing on the channel uh, It's probably not gonna go anywhere anytime soon then we have never stop gaming which never know what happens with never stop gaming You never know what happens with SM SMPs they die they move on you never know so NSG and single player are definitely two of the main ser like not main series is not what I'm trying to say uh, are definitely two big series that they take hours to produce the episodes now uh, to this series not so much how would i say that how do i get block lag in a single player how does it even happen i can't say this series not so much of time put into episodes because i am putting an endless amount of time into these episodes i love playing on this world i love this resource pack and i'm really enjoying uh the design atmosphere of it but at the same time the videos are becoming way easier to make because I think I'm enjoying myself a lot more and I feel like I can do I can focus on one project at a time I don't have to have my time management all over the place like right now this is our next project uh, that big circle you saw is gonna be one of our end game projects so I don't need to be working on that consistently all at once I can actually come over here and I can relax and I can you know sit down and work on a mob farm we can go back and maybe use the tnt to dig out the giant circle bring it down like i think i'm only monkey farm did like i think he did three layers in his first world i'm only doing like one just to have that cool kind of atmosphere to it but other than that yeah like i just these videos are doing insane you guys are loving it i'm just kind of ranting away at this point this was supposed to be an outro and here's me ranting away while digging a hole so i need to end this episode and i need to start the next one can you guys guess what we're doing we're probably digging. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack the like button. And I love your faces. You're all amazing. Oh, God, you guys are awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one.